What's up? It's Thea from Hallmark, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable pom pom banner. Yay! So I saw this pom pom banner online and it was like $80. And so of course I tried to find a way to make it myself. I had a lot of the materials already. The only thing I bought were pom poms. Um, so I took some boxes of stuff that got sent to my house. And then all I did was took a marker and then drew some block letters. And if you're not totally confident with your handwriting, we have printables for you from Hallmark. So all you have to do is just print them and then trace them on the cardboard. Cool, so now you have your cute Y, and the first thing you're gonna do is grab a hole punch and put in a little hole. Um, and I have these pom-poms that are a few different sizes. Um, I stuck with this like hot color palette. Um, I have some medium-sized ones and then some little tiny ones. All right, I like to start with the bigger ones, um, whichever size you have, if it's medium or large. And so that way, cover as much of your letter with those, um, and then you'll go and use the little pom-poms to kind of fill the gaps. Look at that Y. Have you ever seen a cuter Y? It's adorable. So now I'm going to make an A and another Y doing the same thing. So I have this Hallmark twine. I think it's really cute. It's pink and white, which is kind of girly and fun. Once you string it on, I usually just make a simple knot at the end of it so that the letters don't slide together or get, you know, too crowded. We did it! I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to see what you guys do with your phrases too. Um, all you have to do at the end is just snip the ends so it's symmetrical and then hang it wherever your heart desires. Thanks guys for tuning in. I'm so excited to see what pom-pom banners you make. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again soon. Yay!